Hello and welcome to another cool smartphone unboxing. Today we're going to be unboxing something a little bit special. Um, this has just arrived. Uh, the DHL courier has just dropped it off for me. So we'll just move that off to one side. Now we've got two things here and the eagle-eyed amongst you may have already seen what that logo says. One plus X and there's the OnePlus logo at the top with the big X across the box. So this is that's the OnePlus X which was announced on the 5th of November. Before we get into that let's just have a little look at what else we've got here. So this is the OnePlus X bamboo style cover. Now unlike the OnePlus 2 where this style cover um, actually became the back cover this is actually a fully removable back cover. Okay, so I'm not going to take that out of the box just yet, but that's what it is. This was about 19.99, I believe, and I ordered it um, alongside the OnePlus X. So let's get into this for um, into the phone. I just need to grab the scalpel of unboxing. So. This is a 16 gig model, it is the Onyx one, um, I wasn't able to get a ceramic one, um, believe it or not the ceramic ones all sold out in a matter of seconds, which doesn't really surprise me as they only made a limited run of them, I believe it was only 10,000 units. Um, but um, at 199.99, including shipping, uh, excluding shipping, and the style cover case, you really cannot argue with what this phone brings. So while I get out of the box, quick rundown of the specs: we've got a 1920 by 1280p screen. We have a Qualcomm 801 Snapdragon processor, a 16 gigabyte internal memory. That's the phone there. Feels lovely and sleek and slim, but we'll come back to that. Uh, where were we? Uh, yeah, um, 16 gig internal memory, expandable via micro SD, uh, 2 gig of RAM, and possibly 3 actually, um, and a nano, dual nano SIM slot. Now, if you're using micro SD, you can't take advantage of that second nano, slim, nano SIM. What it doesn't have is it doesn't have a fingerprint reader. Um, it doesn't have a uh, NFC. Um, so there is a couple of things that are missing from uh, the OnePlus 2. So in here, we've got yet another cover. Okay, another little slim rubberized thing and our unbox our pin ejection tool anything else of note in there no, nothing else in there just slide that all back together uh what else have we got in here so we've got our warranty information um, if i could ever get it out of the box okay i'm gonna have to open it up so let's pop that open. Yeah, so quick start guide, user guide, um, that's it. No SAR information, which is uh, unusual. That's normally what's in there. Um, all very well presented, I have to say, uh, considering this is a £199 phone. And if those those of you who saw the OnePlus 2 review, you will recognize this charger. It is slightly different on this end, though, um, in that we ha still have our reversible, it's a non-reversible micro USB this time around. So we still have our flat USB cable, non-reversible, okay, and we've also got a micro USB input okay so USB-C is not being used on this like it was being used on the OnePlus uh, 2 so we'll pop that back in the box for now I love these flat cables they are really really nice really useful for traveling with and things like that 
So that's all the bits and pieces in the box. Let's get down to the nitty gritty, down to the phone itself. So as I said, this is a 5 inch device with a 1920 by uh, 1080p resolution. There's your volume key and your power key and your SIM slot, um, which is also the micro SD card slot. Up top, noise cancellation mic, 3.5mm headphone jack. On the back we've got 13 megapixel camera, um, which promises to be very, very good. It does have autofocus, all the usual gubbins. On the bottom, more antenna brakes and then you've got your, for, uh, your rear sorry, downward facing speakers, and a micro USB charger. On the far side, uh, the left hand side this would be, you have your three stage switch for notifications, and it's very, very difficult to tell on video, but there is a brushed finish. You might just be able to hear me scrape my nail. So that definitely does add a little bit of grip. Holding it in hand, power button feels good, it's in a good place and it does have some texture on it as does the volume key. Um, let's peel this off. One thing I can say for certain is this thing is going to be a fingerprint magnet. Um, having used um, Sony devices that had glass rear panels this is going to be covered in fingerprints in seconds, but it is gorgeous. Really, really nice glossy glass back. That's the reflection of my roof there. And then you've got your front facing camera, which is an 8 megapixel. And it looks, yep, it is. They have fitted a screen protector on the front, which is a nice touch. So let's get this powered on. Um, as I said, this is a true unboxing, so I've not actually powered this up yet. So this is first boot, and I'm just going to pause it here uh, while I go through the initial first boot. So that's it, just booting up now. It's just trying to find my Wi-Fi connection. While I do that, I'm just going to do a quick size comparison. So this is the phone I just happen to have on me right now. And here we've got the Nexus 6P, which is a gorgeous 5.7 inch uh, phablet, up against the 5 inch OnePlus X. So as you can see, these two phones are in very, very different leagues. But what does make them very similar is the fact that they are both beautifully thin, and they both run very, very clean versions of Android. Um, obviously, this runs the Google Nexus, the Google Marshmallow 6 experience. This, however, runs um, Oxygen OS. Now, I believe it's on Oxygen OS 2. Um, I've been hearing stories that there is updates out of the box. Um, so, unfortunately, I've got to wait for the connection to come in to check that out. Before we do, uh, sign off though, because this is going to take a while, I may have to actually go inside. Um, I just want to show you what this looks like with the flimsy case that came with it. Ah, let's find my Wi-Fi connection, there we go. So that's what it looks like with the case on it. It doesn't add any bulk. Um, that's actually quite nice. If it wasn't for the fact that I had a bamboo one already, I would probably use that. Um, ah, and we're back to checking connection again. So let's pop that one off and actually pop the bamboo one on. So we'll just get the bamboo one out of the box. Again, really, really nice presentation on this. Uh, I. It's when I see stuff like this, I fail to understand why Apple, and I'm not anti Apple, but why Apple can charge so much for their products. Because this is really, really nice. That is genuine bamboo. Really, really nice finish. Let's just get some light on that. Let's pop the case and the phone in. 
and that instantly makes your phone unique straight away we now have a totally unique phone no one else is going to have quite the same wood grain and it is a wooden finish that's it is gorgeous okay so this as i said this isn't signing on so what we'll do is we'll call it quits there um this is the one plus x really really nice phone i'm really looking forward to reviewing this and seeing what your 200 pound can buy you um and there will be a full review of this on the site in the coming weeks uh so keep it glued to coolsmartphone.com and i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please um if you could like it i would really appreciate that and that's just over there somewhere subscribe over there as well and uh, check out the website for the full upcoming review very very soon thank you very much bye